everybody. Welcome to Mina Says. I hope everybody is doing well today. We got several messages to to give. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. And my guides are telling me it's what we or you should be focusing on right now at this time. I'm using chakra wisdom cards to get a little more detail. And tarot cards. Oh, these ones. These are the mystic Monday tarot cards. And I also have the gilded tarot and some spirit animal. We'll see if any of the cards even get used besides the, the chakra ones, okay? I might be throwing out some specific names that are coming to me. I'm doing things a little bit different. No, my guides are doing things a little bit different lately. All right. Yeah, that figures. All right. Your crown chakra. Your crown chakra. This is what needs our attention at this time. This is the chakra that helps us know we are connected with all things. It is associated with beauty and grace. Oneness with all, your spirituality, selflessness, realizations, understanding, and spiritual enlightenment. Yep, it's what. It's the chakra that helps us receive all these messages and step into that 5D and higher from our 3D reality. All right. Selflessness. <clears throat> now is the time to know that you are connected. We are all one. Be kind to all. When you are kind to others, you are being kind to yourself. Be aware that everything you do, everything that you say, affects others and your perception of your outside world. Help others are those who seek it. And keep seeking out ways to be of service. Even if it's opening up a door for somebody or starting your own healing business, crystal business, whatever it may be, could be just, your purpose could be just to make somebody, one person, each day, find their happy. Develop an attitude of looking for ways to help others instead of ways, or always waiting to be asked for help. Sometimes we, we assume that we don't want to get in anybody's business and, and 
we'll wait for them to ask or, or yeah, wait for them to ask, but usually by the time we ask for help, it is so far past the time when it was that we should have. Right now, at this time in the world, we need to offer help. We need to offer support, whatever it may be. Doesn't mean you have to, you know, kill yourself giving everything away. You'll know when you're needed, and you'll be able to act upon that. Yeah. Do things from a spiritual perspective and from your heart. Yeah. People need support and help more now than ever. We all do. I can't even tell you how many spiritual people I know and, and the trials that they are going through right now are horrendous. And for somebody just to sit and listen without judgment, without trying to fix it, you know, without, with just being there is huge, huge at this time. All right, let's see. No, these ones. It's getting a little crazy out there. And expensive. <laughs> it's time to start carpooling. <laughs> Temperance, balance, balance, yeah. and creativity. Get creative with different little ways you can help make somebody's day. Make their day a little bit easier. Carry a bag of groceries up to the door. Whatever it may be. It's the little things that matter. You know? They, they really go a long way. All right. So, our focus is about being of service and helping others feel connected like we do, like we are. I have a message for somebody named John, okay? A grandmother, maybe even a great-grandmother, so an ancestor. I don't know what you may be going through. But it's hard. She's saying to stop. Stop. Playing a part in this experience you're not it's not going to benefit you anymore it may only get harder doesn't mean leave or flee or just means be aware of your part in whatever it is you're experiencing it takes two to tangle and it 
if whatever you're trying isn't working, it just isn't going to work. You got to stop and you got to rethink. Maybe, maybe you do need to go on a weekend retreat and, and take some time out from this situation just to gain the clarity of thought to come up with a new idea on how to achieve what it is you want to achieve out of this experience. I hope that makes sense. But now is the time. Yep. You got to rethink your action plan or your goal. You got to find resources. Help. And it may come with just, you know, a different person's perspective on the situation. Or it could be bigger than that. I'm not sure, but you're not alone. There's someone or some resources out there to help you. And you got to look for them. Okay? So maybe that first one is about you. <laughs> it's okay to ask for help. <laughs> That's something I have to remind myself of on a daily basis. Okay. <laughs> I love it. All three messages are connected. Okay. The first card is the devil. The devil comes to us with the devil gives us the knowledge that whatever it is that we're doing that we're we're knowingly doing that isn't healthy for us, addiction, um, whatever, um, eating, sleeping, whatever we're doing that isn't healthy for us is it's time to either dial it back and find moderation in it so that you can still enjoy it but not to the degree that you're hurting yourself or your health or stop it altogether. Yeah. Misery loves company and he loves He loves our company. <laughs> he loves to uh, see the struggle because he is the struggle. So, self discipline. Yep, it's time to make a pro and con on everything if you have to. Maybe it's your thought process that's not benefiting you or it's not healthy. It could be depression or anxiety. Yep. Seek the help you need to find that balance, that moderation. Because, so that's your focus. What isn't helping you in, or benefiting you in any way and finding ways other things that will because you're starting a new journey a huge new journey you're going to have to have your wits about you you know hold no expectations none be like a, a kid in a candy store just amazed and wonder I'm getting chills. Let life happen. Don't try to control it. Just let it unfold the way it is meant to so that you can 
see, enjoy, and absorb the whole adventure. A complete everything it has to offer. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Your time, your money, your... Nothing. Don't. Don't hold back. Yeah. Don't be a hoarder. <laughs> With your, your thoughts, your, your uh, ideas, your finances. Don't give it all away, of course. Find the balance in it. But know that all the knowledge and wisdom you've gained, all the money that you make, or, you know, the exercise that you do, all that hard work, you've already got it. You know how to make it come again. You know how to manifest it again and again and again. So you don't need to feel like you have to save every last dime. okay to treat yourself or somebody else. So, whatever this may be to you, and your new adventure that's in the ma making, and the balance you need to find in this area is going to take teamwork. It's going to take compromise. It's going to yep, you're going to need to be flexible, compassionate, not only to self but to others. And find the people you need who have the resources to help you accomplish a common goal. It's going to be quite the adventure. But that's life. <laughs> life is quite an adventure. Sometimes pretty scary at times. Yeah. All right. I hope this resonated for some people, and if you think it might resonate for a friend, please share it. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, you can book one on minasays.com. And that's all she wrote. Have a good day, and we'll see you again shortly.